the very main purpose of the visit of opposition parties delegation today in the state of manipur is to have a first hand information regarding the political situation and other situation prevailing in the state of manipur because we all know that the riots and violence which have started from may 3 and till this moment that violence is continuing yesterday also there was firing in the state of manipur so the responsible opposition parties would like to go and visit the people and uh, we have to see what the situation is prevailing in that state and we will meet the people who are living in the rehabilitation centers and the relief camps and also we will meet the people belonging to the kuki naga and may the all sections of the society we would like to meet and discuss with them and we would like to know what is the real issue what is the real cause of the reason violence which has uh, took place in the state of manipur and further this opposition delegation will also make some recommendations to the government and it will be put in the parliament also because in the no confidence motion we are going to focus the issue of the manipur definitely all these matters which we are having or which we are getting from the field from the state of manipur will be put before the parliament and recommendations will be submitted to the government in restoring peace and tranquility in the state of manipur so it is absolutely a delegation because the honorable prime minister so far has not even made a statement regarding this issue and he is not ready and willing to address the parliament or he is not ready and willing to give a message to the people of manipur through the parliament even in such a situation it is the responsibility of the opposition to see that what is happening in the state and what is the status position of now and what is to be done by the government all these matters will be looked into by this delegation and a detailed report will be submitted through the parliament by the opposition parties sir what is your planning today so today we are going and uh, two days visit it is planned to have two days visit and we are uh, planning to have the first one is the regarding the visit to the relief camps the relief measures and the rehabilitation measures of the people who have already become the victims of this riots and violence and also we would like to see discuss with the kuki people meithi people naga people and other sections of the society and also we would like to meet the administration also even the governor and other administration also we would like we don't know how far we able to have discussion effective discussion with them and uh, all these measures and all these matters will be done in a proper way i hope that the visit of the opposition parties will give a big relief to the people of uh, manipur because they are totally stranded they are totally isolated and there is nobody to look after them in such a situation as rightly rahul gandhi had a visit of 3 days it has given much relief to the people of uh, uh, manipur and similarly this delegation is also it is absolutely a positive sense we are moving in a positive sense to address the issue the combat the violence how the opposition parties are able to take part in this political process we strongly believe that the violence and the riots in the state of manipur can be resolved only through a political resolution it cannot be through the guns and it cannot be through the force but a political resolution has to be evolved for which the government of india has to take an initiative we have demanded that an all party delegation has to be sent to the state of manipur an all party meeting has to be convened by the prime minister but none of the demand of the opposition was not even heard by the prime minister in such a situation definitely we have to act proactively that is why the opposition party delegation is going to the state of manipur for a two day visit to collect the information and to see the situation and to analyze the situation and to give the recommendations to the government through the parliament